Okay, now this legend here, the Galaxy Note 9, which was launched in August 2018, has got an all new update. And here I am making a quick video on this phone in 2022. And I'm sure you wouldn't have expected this video. Now this update is of course the security patch for May 2022 and what this tells us is that Samsung is committed to its older devices. In 2021, Samsung changed its security updates policy and promised that they will provide 4 years of security updates for most of its devices launched since 2019. It is noteworthy to see the Galaxy Note 9 getting this patch even though it was launched in 2018. This is just fantastic. Now this phone moved into quarterly update schedule and maybe the next patch in the next quarter will be its last update. After which Samsung will stop supporting this device, which doesn't mean we cannot use it. It is just that the phone could be vulnerable to threats. And that is the time you must upgrade your device. Anyways, now coming to the software update, as you can see, the size is 125.30 MB. It says security patch level 1st May 2022. And as expected, there is no features added on this update. It only talks about the security of your device, device stability improvements and bug fixes, and performance improvements. Now, every time I made a video about this phone, I always mentioned that this phone was very much capable of getting One UI 3 or 3.1. Unfortunately, Samsung did not consider this series for the major Android upgrades. It provided only two years of upgrade as per their old policies. Now, even though it's on One UI 2.5, it packs everything it needs in terms of features. So it's been a great experience with this device. Even today, sometimes I feel like picking up this device and using it for a while. The battery performance has been decent enough. Uh, it gives me around uh, three and a half to four hours of screen on time, which is pretty good for a four year old device. Of course, I haven't used it extensively for the last couple of years, so I'm getting this SOT. If you have been a heavy user on this device, the SOT will be much lesser. Now, here is something to note. Those days are gone where we used to say Samsung devices lag after a year or two. Now, this is the best example, this flagship device. Even today, I don't see any lags or stutters on this phone. Of course, this is applicable for the flagship devices, mid-ranges, sometimes it lags, even the new phones lag, and I'm sure the older phones will certainly lag. But as far as the flagships are concerned, we can compare them to the iOS. Anyways, these are my thoughts about this device and the updates. I will go ahead and update this phone. If you still own this device, go ahead, check your software update on the settings and update it. This might as well be your last update or you may get one more security patch. Now, an interesting question is, how many of you guys still own this device? If you still own it, do drop a comment. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.